So today I'm going to show you how you need to use token sniffer because a lot of stuff over there are not correct and they are kind of misleading. So today I'm going to show you everything what you need to know because I'm using it myself and I really like token sniffer. But if you are not following those steps, you might lose a lot of money. So first thing which we're gonna do, we're gonna bring random project over here just to show you everything about it. And then we're gonna go from start to end and I will show you what you need to be careful of. So first thing which we need is address and over here we have unibot and uh, we just need to copy address of course it depends from where you are taking addresses you can take it from cmc you can take it from dex tools even if some friend gave you like random project first thing which you're probably gonna do you are going to token sniffer and then you are checking what this project is about because over here you can actually in few seconds see a lot of information. So now if you are looking at the new project, first thing which you are probably going to focus on is ownership is announced and what is going on with liquidity. So this is good, token sniffer is amazing because of that, but there is big issue because token sniffer have huge delays. So if you're gonna use this for something what is extremely new, for example, if you're gonna snipe new projects, there are some contracts which can fake this. So for example, there could be some project which you take address and you put it on token sniffer and over here is saying that ownership is renounced and that liquidity is fully burned. Of course, immediately you see it on like 2000 market cap, you know that you cannot lose and you invest money in it. But the thing which you don't know is that that that's Honeypot and that whole contract is made for you to see on token sniffer that uh, it's safe and that you invest. And the thing is, even if you go to Etherscan and you check uh, manually, you will see that liquidity is actually burned. And for example, even if you go to contract, you go to read the contract and then to owner, you will see that address is burned, which means that they cannot do anything. But this is actually not right. And over here, I made full video like uh, two months ago about one scammer who is doing like four projects a day and over here I was calculating how much money he was being able to make you know like week time amounts are unreal and today there is way way more people which are doing this same thing so that's why if you are investing in new projects I do not suggest you to use token sniffer because it's delayed instead you need to learn how to read contract and even on token sniffer like after like 30 minutes or so when you already bought into it there will be like with red letters typing that uh, this project is a scam but then it's too late so now let's go through all of this and then i will show you what you need to look for so first thing which you're gonna see is uh, buy and sell fees like i said uh, token sniffer is delayed so even though it's sometimes when it's saying that uh, there is five percent buy and sell it could be that is different but if uh, of course ownership is announced then you are safe and it's probably right. Then over here in contract, you can see verified contract source. What that means is that they showed the code. And over here for this Unibot uh, contract, you can see that in contract, they have function which can block list holders. And since this contract is not announced, that means that they can still rock pull whole community. Of course, they probably won't do it because they have 5% taxes and like it's going amazing. But the thing is, they could do it. So if you are investing in new project which you don't know who are devs, if it's risky and so on, when you see that ownership is not announced, you need to be extremely careful because there is possibility that you lose everything in one second. They just need to stop the trade, they can block list you, they can do whatever and you are done. If they have liquidity lock for, for example, I don't know, like one year, they can still freeze the trades and then after one year when no one can sell and so on, they just like remove liquidity because lock is done. So you need to be extremely, extremely careful. Next thing over here are holders. And over here is the one which is kind of like misleading because yes, this is showing how much creator has, but we are in 2023 
free and uh, depends of course when you're watching this video but real deal is that the devs are not dumb as well so if they want to buy 40 50 percent of whole supply they will not do it with creator wallet so over here i would like if they do some updates that we see how many like early holders are still holding or how many sniper was there because ownership of course i don't think that this is accurate so you need to be extremely careful of course there is a lot of uh, videos on my channel how to go and how to check early holders and how to check early buyers in every single project so i really highly suggest you that you subscribe and go watch my other videos then over here what is also really misleading but is right because all other holders possess less than five percent circulating to token supply yes but like I said, there could be a lot of people which are having multiple wallets and there are multiple people which have connected wallets like holder A and holder B, they have like same trades, they are fully co con connected, sending money from one to another. I really think that they should connect like bubble maps for example and then give us like another thingy over here with wallets which are fully fully connected then liquidity liquidity is what you really need to care if you're investing in new project you want that initial liquidity is higher than lower because if it's low if it's for example one ethereum that means that is extremely 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 volatile and if taxes are zero there will be a lot of sandwich bots which will take like insane amount of money even though if your slippage is low there are some cases when uh, sandwich bots can take like 10 20 percent out of your money especially if you are using it with uniswap because there are delays and you need to refresh after every single trade because price will not refresh automatically and you might get burned so this is initial liquidity from uniswap this is like migration so that's why this is high but this is initial this is current liquidity how much they have right now and over here at the end extremely important for how long liquidity is burned or locked if it's burned of course is way better but if it's locked for like six months at least it's still decent of course you need to know that uh, liquidity sometimes is good when it's locked like lower time because especially when it's new project and you don't know which changes you want to do so let's say that you renounce ownership so you cannot rock pool and do migration then liquidity is your only chance so if this is locked for like six months then if you have something wrong in your contract then only way how you can do migration is if liquidity is out and then you take the money of course if you are not someone who will scam then you create new token with better contract you put that whole liquidity in another contract and then you just airdrop every single holder which was still there of course if you want to learn how to check how long liquidity is locked you have a lot of videos on my channel just type how to check liquidity of cryptocurrency and i did that on bsc network and it's basically the same but if you want i can do another video when, where i will show how to check in on etherscan and that's it and if you enjoy my content please subscribe because this is helping me a lot